Hi everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this evening update. It is a beautiful Sunday evening for a lot of us, and so I hope that you have been enjoying your day and perhaps have been smooth for the new week. And so we're going to be looking at what is going on across the North Atlantic. We'll be talking about Tammy, which is still a hurricane. It strengthened a bit more, so it weakened earlier, but it has re-strengthened. We'll talk about that, and we don't want to take our eyes off it. Could there be impacts in the southern U.S.? We'll be talking about that in this video, coupled with the Caribbean disturbance, which may quickly quickly develop into the next tropical depression or a storm of the season. The next name on the list is Vince. So will that disturbance become Vince? Let's talk about what could happen. So let's get straight into it and we're going on to the satellite imagery. Here we can see that this evening there is some activity across some areas. There's Tammy out there and a lot of moisture out in the main development region. There's a trough out there approaching the Lesser Antilles. So as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, if it sustains enough activity, then it could increase the rainfall for some areas and uh, for some islands earlier today there was some flooding induced by Tammy. So a lot of the activity that was spreading across the islands uh, was induced in a lot of heavy rainfall and even some flooding across some areas. So I hope everyone uh, affected by this is doing okay. I have been seeing your comments. Please do stay safe as the system continues to move out so conditions will gradually improve as we head into this week. Let's zoom into uh, parts of the South Caribbean, Northern South America and here we can see that there is some activity across much of Northern South America. So for parts of Colombia, also Venezuela, the Guyanas, we can see some activity there. Earlier in Trinidad and Tobago as well and uh, across majority of the Lesser Antilles, at least overcast conditions for most areas uh, for some others some thunderstorms and even some heavy downpours at times or maybe just some intermittent showers and then heading over into the southwest Caribbean that is where our disturbance is located we'll talk more about that shortly but uh, let's head further up north here and we can see that there has been some thunderstorm activity popping up across some areas sections of the Leeward Islands even for Puerto Rico near St. Croix earlier and even in the vicinity of Hispaniola Jamaica the Cayman Islands a lot of rainfall over there even across some spots in eastern Cuba as well there has been some activity uh, much not happening for Belize and going over into the Yucatan and other parts of northern and central America and uh, let's now go ahead and talk about Tammy so we're looking at the latest cone forecast as of this evening from the National Hurricane Center and here we can see as I said earlier it's strengthened after weakening just a bit so uh, current sustained winds are up to 85 miles per hour and the system is making its way to to the northwest at nine miles per hour and so uh as i was saying it's going to be making its way out there but then an eventual turn is expected why because an area of high pressure is expected to reinforce before the system would have that opportunity to continue out to the northeast so uh, they can't just move through high pressure areas they have to move around them and as such uh, that is why we could see that turn toward the west from tammy so uh, going on to the model track guidance here for the system, there we can see that they're showing a westward track of the system as it curves around that area of high pressure. So that would steer the system very close to Bermuda and even into parts of the southeastern U.S. The ICON model has been very consistent about that happening even before other models started showing that we could see such a curve. So I uh, will definitely have to keep our eyes on Tammy. The good news is that it is likely to weaken as the wind shear increases. What happens with the shear is that when it's strong out there, basically rips up those thunderstorms and prevent the system from growing and rather inducing weakening. So that is what will happen with Tammy. That's the good news with it. Even looking at the cone forecast here. It is expected to become post-tropical later this week, meaning that it will be losing its tropical cyclone characteristics. It's going to be a lot weaker and uh, less of a an issue compared to what it is right now but for now it is still moving out there could still be some additional rainfall activity across portions of the lesser antilles going to the virgin islands potentially for puerto rico as well so uh as i said though conditions will only gradually improve as we head through early this week and now we want to go ahead and take our attention to the southwest caribbean where there is disturbance 95 l so that disturbance is designated as an invest because it is an area of investigation 
situation is being closely watched for development. So uh, going on to the National Hurricane Center's latest graphic, here we can see that there is a 60% chance of formation through both uh, 7 days and 48 hours. So both uh, 2 and 7 days, we could see something develop. And really, it has very limited time because by Tuesday, it should make its way inland. But between now and then, it is going to be remaining in a very conducive environment. And some of the activity actually decreased associated with it. But nonetheless, it is in a very favorable area. The shear is not a problem for it. Neither is a dry air an issue. And those waters are very warm, above average, matter of fact. So that will likely fuel the activity associated with it. But regardless of it actually developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm, it will be bringing impacts to Central America. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, maybe even up into Honduras will experience quite a bit of rainfall activity as a result of the system moving in by Tuesday. So it doesn't matter if it will develop or not, there will be a lot of flooding rains across portions of Central America. But I think it has a pretty solid shot at becoming at least a tropical depression, potentially a tropical storm according to the name Vince. And that would leave only one name on the list. And I really think that at this rate and seeing how things could progress as we head into next month, we will definitely exhaust the list for this year and have to resort to the supplementary list. That first name is Adria. Now going on to this graphic here, this is the uh, 48 hour surface forecast. This is from the tropical analysis forecast branch. And so as we head into Tuesday, there we can see that area, possible tropical cyclones, was even marked on this that, hey, this area could become a tropical cyclone. There is Tammy up there at the time and that stationary front. So that line with those triangles and those semicircles are indicative of a stationary front uh, in the Caribbean right there. And even talking about further down into the month of of October, well, the month ends next week, we'll be heading into November. But take a look at this. This is a map showing that ocean heat content, very deep, warm waters. And that is represented by those shades of those reds. So uh, very warm waters at a pretty good depth, not just at the surface. And this is an area to watch. This is a hot spot for development at this time of year. We definitely want to watch the Caribbean uh, for seeing these other low pressure areas for models are even, are even sniffing and added already for example the euro this is as we head into next wednesday the first of november there we can see that low pressure area forming a lot of increase in moisture across the south caribbean so we'll definitely have to keep our eyes on the tropics it's not over yet uh, we still have a couple weeks to go before the season officially concludes but within that time we could see a couple more systems try to get themselves together they could be threats because again in the vicinity of the caribbean that's usually the area we want to watch for uh, these future systems but that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this evening update. So again, we've got Tammy still inducing some uh, unstable weather across portions of the Lesser Antilles, but it will be moving out. And then in the Southwest Caribbean, there is Invest 95L that could quickly develop as we head into the next day or so, potentially becoming a tropical depression, even a tropical storm. And regardless, though, it is going to be producing a lot of heavy rainfall across portions of Central America. So again, that is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update just to bring you up to speed with what is going on across the Atlantic and of course I'll continue to keep you posted so that is pretty much it for now and I hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise